Molly immediately looking at something in the bunch of reds. Well, that is so aiming towards the left jaw, I think, but he could maybe straighten it if he hit it off centre. I don't know how far apart the two reds are. That's the key. There's a little gap between them. One. Well, it was lucky it was there because nothing else was available. The red that Kara missed, he didn't leave. Potable. Well, if he takes on the blue, this kind of shot for him is always a good barometer as to how he's queuing. Mm. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. He certainly didn't hold back in the way he played it either, Phil. He played it completely to finish on that red by the black. Many opponents Eight. wilt against O'Sullivan. They melt in the face of his reputation. Understandably so. He's the best there's ever been. But Wilson is not like that. He's got intestinal fortitude. Unshakable self-belief. Nine. Yes, Ronnie led Kyra in 10-7 overnight in the World Championship final that you spoke about. It's only four months back. He, and then Kyra won the first frame. He 16. got to win two of this great man. But really, on day two of that final, day 17 of the championship, Sullivan was much too strong. Played well at the end. I think that really, 17. that last day, it was my abiding memory of that final. It wasn't particularly close. Just the way that Sullivan found extra on the just when he needed it, really, and Kyron had no answer. There were nine frames, well, it could be a different story. Well, what is he on, is the question. 24. I think that's red in the middle of the bunch. It may be potable to the right corner. The last shot was just a little bit errant. It wasn't perfectly played. But there's a red that is potable. There it is. Smack in the middle of their little cluster of half a dozen. Twenty-five. Well, he's finished nowhere, quite frankly. It's been mentioned too many times to dwell on it, but O'Sullivan is uh, the, probably the best with his cue ball control in the game. Karen Wilson is not to that level, and it, that's one of the things I think the final of the World Championship exposed a little bit. Here we see Wilson already looking to retrieve the situation. Neil's absolutely right, but what he lacks in cue ball control, comparatively of course, he makes up for him being able to use this thing. He is mustered with the rest. What makes him such a good player with the rest is he can play almost the same sort of shots that he does with his cue. You know, he can use screw and side and stun. Most players, they can only play relatively easy shots with it. I think he's just as good with the rest as he is without it. Twenty-six. 
28. So again, chance to put the cue ball in a designated area. Which should give him a choice of reds. It's a terrible shot, to be honest, to finish there. It's the only place at this end of the table where he's not on a red. That is a very good Set recovery. I talked about his mental strength, Neil, and the way he recovers breaks as well and just keeps potting and defies pressure. He's very similar to the 2002 world champion Peter Ebden. I think somebody that's helped him with his game over the years and from the same neck of the woods. Originally, of course, Peter Ebden, I think, might have moved abroad these days, but there is a lot of self-belief in his game, as was Ebden's. Thirty-five. And we hit that delightfully as well. And, of course, we all know that over the years, Ebden gave O'Sullivan... Some big occasion that problems. delightfully as well. And of course we all know that over the years Ebden gave O'Sullivan some big occasion that problems. delightfully as well. And of course we all know that over the years Ebden gave... 42. O'Sullivan, that's a big occasion that delightfully as well. And of course we all know that over the years Ebden gave... 42. So better control now as this break. O'Sullivan continues to unfold that problems. delightfully as well. And of course, we all know that over the years, Ebden gave. Uh, 42. Control now as this break. O'Sullivan continues on calling it delightfully as well. And of course, we all know that one thing about this game is to keep your opponent in this chair. I don't know who your opponent is. 42. It's the world champion sitting there, but it doesn't matter. There's nothing he can do. 50. He made a mistake. The blue he went was not ambitious, it was a. <coughs> Full-blooded shot, but since so then, what? Better control now as this break. O'Sullivan continues to hold as well. And of course, we all know that one thing about this game is to keep game. your opponent a couple of in this chair. Who like your opponent is? Forty-two. Being out of world champion position, there, it doesn't matter. Well, Sixty-five. Nothing he's he can do. Away. Fifty. Made a mistake. First blood has been drawn. would like to go on and make a century. Interesting, actually, in their meetings, 71. he's made five centuries in total. O'Sullivan's made 16 centuries against him. 72. This may be partially redressing the balance.
Well, they met in one of the home nations, a match that Kyron won. Seventeen. Uh, he led Ronnie three nil. Ronnie made three back-to-back -back hundreds, but he still got over the line in, in the decider. Kyron Wilson. He's been on the wrong end of a few defeats since then, too. Oh, champ. That's a very good point, Neil. It was the fourth round of the Northern Ireland Open in Belfast 85. in 2016. Kyron Wilson. That's a pity. No five. century, but a very eye-catching start from Kyron Wilson. Uh, Sullivan made a mistake. Wilson made hay. 1-0. Two superstars in action this evening on adjoining tables. And what a start from Judd Trump winning the first frame against Martin Gould with a break of 101. He's 45th century of the season. It was a pretty nifty start from Kyron Wilson as well, Neil. Very good. Been an underlying trend of... I don't know the exact details, I'm sure there are people that do, but Ronnie O'Sullivan has lost a lot of first round, or first frame matches, I should say, in his uh, recent memory. He, he actually won the opener against Barry Hawkins. But a lot of the time, he does not start well anymore, and that was one thing he always used to do. Even in the, the matches or the tournaments he's winning, not always coming out running, you know, for whatever reason. In these best of nine frame matches now in the quarterfinals, a little more latitude, but you don't want to put yourself behind the eight ball consistently.
Bom. That was nicely played you had to ensure that he got the right amount of almost nip on the cue ball just to take it away from the two reds. It's one of those who can hit it any more firmly than you hit the reds. It's a very good shot. Nice. I think it's safe to say that O'Sullivan has given players chances recently and some have not been good enough to take them. I'm not sure that would be the case here. Sixteen. Seventeen. Well, once again, not quite prime position. The red is an annoyance that's below the black. Plain ball on this, he would hit the red. For him to screw to the left of it makes the shot more difficult. They call his trusty rest out, but this is not such an easy shot to get the pot and position. That's a really good shot. And you know, Neil, it's not just in my imagination. When he plays with the rest, he doesn't just pot them. He pots them right in the middle of the pocket. The yellow in the first frame, right in. So to the black. A little bit tight. The red just below the pink might have gone, but he's very close, so he's playing on the other one. 25. Looks like he might be thinking about going into the pink and disturbing reds this way. Don't know how hard it hit them, but I don't think he'll be playing it if he does go down that route at full pace. He's got a saviour, I think, red up into the yellow pocket. Thirty. Has to squeeze this past the blue. Mm. Karen Wilson. It affected Third. his alignment, that. Yeah, they either go or they don't, but you can't help but think you've got to put it into a certain part of the pocket. Anyway, over to O'Sullivan. One. First real chance. Eight. Nine. Well, he's a bit straight here, and of course the red on the right cushion, the natural angle is to screw into that red, which he did, of course he doesn't want to do. Can just about avoid the red, I think, top side. You can see his problem here. I think he can screw, and as we're looking, finish on the left of that red. Do you want to take the risk? Sixteen.
17. It's not like him to finish there. That's a poor shot from O'Sullivan. Well, he's on the red, closest to the pink. I think that's the only one. Yeah, he is. Twenty-three. Well, he's found a few problems in this break. Things getting more difficult by the shot here. Next round over the top of the black is not easy. Third. Be a left handed shot here for O'Sullivan. 34. That's another fantastic shot 35. with his wrong hand, isn't it? If you're a left handed player, you'd be pleased with that. 42. Yes, let's 42. put it this way. I think if O'Sullivan played exclusively left-handed and Trump played exclusively right-handed. There's only one winner. Well, it got more difficult, Ronnie didn't it? Sullivan. And, uh, 43. He was kind of playing in an area there. He, he didn't really know what his next red was going to be. I don't know what he played there. He, seem to play on a red at all. I think the cue ball went where he meant it to. What could he have played? A little unlucky there, isn't he? I mean, you never really think that you're going to go off those. Such a thin shot. It was so well potted. Of course, you have no control over the cue ball, but it doesn't have to go into the pocket. It's drawn in there like it's a magnet. So we haven't seen that many close frames this week because the standard has been so high, the brakes have been raining in from all angles. So when you do get a frame that will probably go down to the colours, it's always quite enthralling. It's the one that O'Sullivan really could do with winning. It's just a 
settle him into the match. At the moment, this frame is anybody's. take this red on and let risk leaving the other red but then the other red I think is gettable anyway so I need to play it safe interesting little battle this Double kiss, but no harm done. There was a tactic years ago where players purposely tested O'Sullivan's patience. Doesn't work so well these days. He is still prone to occasional frustration, but nowhere near as often. Hmm. I can't believe he went for the pot there. It's a poor shot from Ronnie. It really was. I think he just played the cue ball up and down. Got uh, too thin a contact on this. I mean, there's no way he could have tried to cut this in. Yeah, very frustrated with that one. Well, he just screwed it onto the side cushion. He meant to, but the cue ball was meant to come out more in the middle of the table. He doesn't really want to play the black, I, I get the feeling. Brown ball. Karen Wilson, one. The world champion is toiling at the moment. 
It's a very different story for the world number one, though. Judd Trump now 2-0 up on Martin Gould. Gould's only points so far came via an in-off late in the second frame. You've been there, Neil, many, many times. There's nothing pretty about these frames, but in many respects, psychologically, they're more important than the ones where you make a sizable break. Yeah, it's a lengthy frame, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In the context of this match coming up, 18 minutes or so with plenty to be resolved, and like you say, it's kind of a nice boost when you win them. At the moment, like I say, it's very difficult to say which way it's going to go. A long safety battle with the, the Reds have always been a little tied up. Well, he's going to watch the cue ball here because Ronnie has gone in off and he's a little fortunate not to have done the same, I suppose. Very good pot, very sweet queuing. And Ronnie had a, a similar sort of a, a shot to that pocket, a couple of shots back and he, he refused it. I think Kyron feels that the brown to red is the right shot. Red, very near the cushion, so he'd have to play it well, positionally. Now he's thinking about getting the pink into play. Karen Wilson won. Interesting because he may not have needed the pink anyway. If it's something of a bit of a nothing shot he's ended up playing. He's not got the snooker. I don't know what he tried there. Now, Wilson knocks in a very high percentage of this kind of pot. On that occasion, nowhere near the zone. Going to take a good shot. He wouldn't mind uh, being Kyron Wilson, I think, playing this, pointing the red and maybe getting onto a colour here. It's going to take very good queuing with the rest. They've got to hit it at some pace. I'm just trying to talk about tips after last week when Ronnie. Continually bit his tip off when he <laughs> when he had won matches, having to replace it for his next match the next day. Oh, 
Oh, he keeps five. giving away penalty points this frame. Karen Wilson, five. It's actually a very difficult rest shot that to try and do something with the cue ball. It was a point I was making earlier. Some players can play all the shots with the rest. One. And there's an interesting one. Even though he was at pretty much full stretch, he preferred to do that than use the rest. Fifteen. So quite a few mistakes in this frame. Twenty. Ultimately though, Karen just picks up the pieces towards the end. We suspected O'Sullivan wouldn't have things his, all his own way this evening. And that's exactly how it's transpiring. It's a repeat of the world final, of course it is. But not the way that crucible climax ended. Thank you. 